So, so in this case you have a door which is being supported by a chain and the, qu the question is to find or to determine the moment of the force F along the X axis. So what you have is, uh, is uh, the door and it's being lifted up at by using a chain at point B and then <coughs> the force which is being used is 20 pounds. So we want to find the moment of this about this axis. So how do we do this problem? Okay, that will give you the force vector. And then you need UA, right? So what's what's UA in this case? X, it's for the x-axis, right? Mm -hmm. So what's UA then? What? I mean, you're looking about x-axis and you need a unit vector along x-axis and unit vector along x-axis is defined as i so <coughs> that becomes ua then you need a point on the force and a point with the axis you want to find the moment so <coughs> we could see this is x-axis we could always choose o as one of the points and then I could choose, I mean we have a choice, we could choose this point or this point with the, the coordinates of both of those points are known. So let's say if I choose, I mean you could move this force all the way up here and I could choose this as R. So <coughs> you got to have R really a vector going from O to A. And then your moment which is Mx, that's uh, it's going to be Ua dot R cross F. So we need to find all these vectors and then work through this equation. So the force is force magnitude multiplied by a unit vector going from E to A. So that's again magnitude is known, that's 20. Then the unit vector going to go from P to A, so you go B A divided by its length. Then this one here, <coughs> you just need the coordinates of A as well as O. So the O is the easiest to work with, it's just all zeros. So that takes care of the O, then A. Mm. <coughs> Which thing are the coordinates for A? It's an X O Z plane, so Y should be zero, Z is four, and what's X? So that becomes A. 